Mary, the color scientist in the black and white room. I remember this one. Right. So Mary is a brilliant neuroscientist. She knows everything physical there is to know about color vision, physics of light, neurophysiology, pigment chemistry, all of it. Complete physical knowledge. But complete. But she's lived her entire life in a completely black and white environment, never seen actual color, knows it all from black and white books, screens, etc. So all theory, no experience. Exactly. Then one day she leaves the room and sees a red tomato for the first time. The argument from Frank Jackson is, Mary had all the physical facts before leaving. But when she sees red, she learns something new, right? Yeah, she learns what it's like to see red, the actual experience. Precisely. She learns about the quail of redness. Jackson argues this is new factual information. So if she learned a new fact, her previous knowledge, all the physical facts must have been incomplete. Meaning there are non-physical facts, facts about experience. That's the conclusion. Therefore, physicalism is false because it doesn't cover these phenomenal facts. 